What is good, guys? Back at it again for another video. Um, well, I want to see entertainment, so I haven't made these in a long time. So, I hope you guys are having a good time. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Keep it cool and keep it classy. Let's get it. Wow. My name is Karen, and this. Karen. Her name is Karen. That's a bad name to, to be called um named Karen in 2020. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the video. Happened when I was 14 years old. Okay. I had the best teacher ever who was also really kind. She let us do whatever we wanted and didn't care about us at all. I know that it wasn't appropriate for her students. However, because we were young kids, everyone liked her except for one person. Okay. He was what we called a nerd. He was smart, but he was a big snitch and really annoying. He always said we all... Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody can relate to that one kid in class who like, who's like that, or and just I don't know, cause hey, he, I guess he a nerd. I mean, it's cool though. I'm just saying though. <laughs> Needed to study and not goof around, but everyone ignored him. We heard that our teacher had been fired. There were rumors going wow. around about her. One was that she was fired because the nerd had snitched on her and told his parents. They all complained to the principal. Soon the nerd was bullied a lot because of it. And he finally ended up leaving the school and moving to another one. When he packed his stuff and left the classroom on his last day, I saw him crying and staring at us with a bruised eye. It gave me goosebumps. About two years later, on a rainy day, we had to stay inside the classroom. We were just talking, playing, and doing other stuff as usual. When the class was about to start, our teacher told us all to use the bathroom beforehand. So while some of us were walking to the bathroom, we saw that the teacher who had been fired walked into the school. Wow. Obviously, that should set up a red flag in your head. Come on now. That's why I paused it. I was like, come on. She was calm. As we walked past her, she suddenly looked at us, stopped us, and said, Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Come on now. That is ridiculous. Like, what is she doing back in the building if she just been fired? Like, come on now. They playing too many games, the school playing too many games, the district playing too many games. Wait, I know you. You guys were in my class, right? She was smiling at us, but somehow she looked very tired, and I felt a bit weird. We replied, uh, yes ma'am. At that very moment, we saw a gang of boys following her, and I... Told you. See what I'm saying? What are they doing in the school? Who are they? It don't make no sense. The school's playing too many games. That's all I gotta say. Like, you know, just no questions asked. I could see that they were holding knives with some blood on it. We then started screaming, but all the classrooms were far away from the bathroom, so nobody could hear our desperate screams. Then we turned around and told the teacher and the gang to please go away and spare us. Our teacher glared at us for a while and slowly started smiling. Don't worry, you are next. As soon as she told us this, someone abruptly pulled out a knife and they all started grabbing us. 
The next thing I knew, we were dragged onto some kind of big van. My friends and I were crying and terrified. I knew something bad was going to happen. However, at that moment, when they pulled us into a van, we suddenly heard a loud siren. Fortunately, one of the teachers saw when they entered the school and stabbed some of the students. He immediately called the police. After they were arrested, all the students had to go home early and the school closed for a week. It turned out that the gang was hired by former surgeons who were fired for removing people's organs and killing them. Furthermore, our psychopath teacher had been working with them and she was a murderer who would have murdered parents and raped their kids. A few months after, the whole gang was sentenced to 10 years in prison. She finally received a death sentence. However, that was not all. To our surprise, the police also found out that the nerd had been helping the teacher with murder for a long time. I don't know why he did that. But anyway, he will be charged with helping her with murder when he turns 18. So, turns out that the nerd was, as I say, cahoots or cycle in the first place. So, when they was bullying him, well, he deserved it because he opened, wow, I knew it, something was off. She was basically the teacher was a psychopath. So the, basically, the school been playing too many games. That's what I had to say. No questions asked. Um, well, stay tuned. Keep it cool and classy. Peace out. And thanks for the so, uh, support. Love you guys. And check everything in the description down below. Yeah.